Hello, my name is Kyle Bess, and today I will be walking you through the differences in guitars, why people pay so much for sharing guitars, and why I chose what guitars I have played for years and years and years. So, guitars have such minute differences that suit this set them apart, whether it be brand, build quality, build materials, metal quality, metal materials, what type of metal, um, how old the wood used in the guitar is, that, that's a huge thing. Um, so, the first instance of three guitars that I'm going to show you is this one. This is a 2000 Fender Made in the USA Stratocaster. What sets this apart from other Stratocasters of the same year is the one, one the build quality. It was known for a better build quality that year. Um, the wood is an ash body type, which differs from the alder body type. The ash is a little bit heavier, a little bit denser, and some people would actually attribute it to a much thicker and richer sound. Um, also, originally what happened is Fender went into the electronics, which make the guitar sound what the guitar is. Basically, you get a plug into an input jack like here, and these magnets, these little circles, you can see it right here. They're magnets and they detect the string vibration and that's how they transmit the sound through the amp. Um, let me cover a little bit more electronics and I'll specify like what separates them, different examples of electronics and stuff, uh, stuff like that. So basically the way it works with most electric guitars is we'll have separate pickup options. So these are gonna be three pickups right here. Your, what This is called your neck position because it's closest to the neck. This is the middle position and this is the bridge because it's close to the bridge. Now, these names of positions can vary based off the manufacturer guitar. Some some guitars can only have a neck pickup, some guitars can only have a bridge. Um, and then from those, they're either controlled with one volume knob, a tone knob, another tone knob, just a volume knob, just a tone knob. You're... The possibility is basically endless. So Fender has been making this design since about 1954, or 1953 is when the first prototypes of these guitars started kind of popping up. So it's a tried and true platform. So in 2000, they tried to combat what was normally found, combat what was normally found in electric guitar pickups and make what were called noiseless pickups. So they wouldn't feed back and you wouldn't have that hum if you were playing on the stage like that constant mm, through the amp, it would be completely noiseless. However, um, based off personal preference and choice alone, I upgraded the pickups. And we'll go into why I did that later and what it can, it can make the guitar, how it can make the guitar sound different, how it can suit your needs, blah, blah, blah. So that was the first example of the guitar. We will move back to this one most likely, but I'm going to show you two others. So this is another example of the Fender Stratocaster. This one was actually made in Mexico, but it doesn't necessarily need the build quality of any lower. Um, Mexican Strats are, this is my first real guitar, and the Mexican Strats are known for being incredibly well built for the money and having excellent electronics for the money as well. So this operates the same way the other one did with the three pickups right here, the neck, the middle, the bridge, the same volume, so basically the same electronic wiring schematics, but what separates them is this body is mainly not ash and it's not as high quality of ash, even if it was to be made of ash, this is made of alder, this neck is like a very uh, very rudimentary maple with a lot of more, more expensive maple or even some of the rosewood necks you can see some figure. See, you can see some basic elements of figure in the neck. And by figure, I mean wood grain. Um, people are going to pay more to see if their guitar look pretty. Uh, so there's like varying levels of like flame. Um, flame is basically, here I'll show you another example. So flame and figure in wood, actually my camera isn't picking that up. It's basically, never mind. It's markings across the wood that's natural. It's very beautiful. And this is another example of guitar. Um, this, however, does not use the same pickup schematics, and this just shows how versatile guitars can be. Um, 
though that's kind of been the gold standard for guitars and so many different brands and of manufacturers use that schematic and have abused that sense and there's so many different copies like it's numerous there's companies like um TLC and TMG and Sir and stuff like that. They've all copied Fender. They've included, they've tried to say that they get it right every time. They try to say they improved on the build. But overall, um, the gold standard is the Fender Stratocaster, which I showed you. So this is what's called a Duesenberg. So Duesenberg is a German guitar manufacturer that's distributed in the United States, and they're known for having outstanding build quality, um, incredible use of materials, Brazilian rosewood, which is the most expensive rosewood you can get, um, expertly like hand-wound pickups. So I know, again, touching on the whole pickups and electronic section of the guitar, um, pickups, though they work on the magnets, what happens is there's a copper wire that gets spun around each pole, or each group of poles, and these amount of spins around the poles can vary how hot or how subtle the pickup is. So basically, if you're going to hear, like, let's do a quick comparison. If you're going to hear a jazz kind of tone, like if you're like Wes Montgomery, like, if you're going to hear a very like, jazzy tone, um, of course, this is plugged into an amp, very like subtle kind of jazz, like a uh, subtle jazz tone. You're gonna hear typically underwound pickups because they don't want too bright or too basically too trebly of a sound to like cut through. They want kind of an even, mellow, kind of moody sound. However, metal pickups, um, metal pickups and pickups made for like higher distortion music, like Van Halen's one of the biggest contributors of this, they're going to be wound a little bit hot, so they're going to be wound with more and more and more and more and more copper wire, so they're going to be pick, picking up a little bit more. Um, typically, bridge pickups tend to have a little bit more windings because uh, this is the quote-unquote lead position that was kind of established in the 50s um, because it cuts through the mix, especially if you're playing live and you're playing in a gig, um, you need your, your sound to kind of cut through. However, some of these pickups can vary on their build quality, and they can almost cut through too much where the sound is too harsh. So, as I've covered with three different cases, basically build quality, build material, and electronics can huge, be a huge factor. Um, the, price, the price range for these is, is vast. Um, it's a rather mill Mexican strat is going to run you about five, five hundred dollars, five hundred to eight hundred dollars just for a Mexican made guitar. It's going to be very rudimentary, but it's still going to have the gold standard of the schematic. Um, your run of the mill American Stratocaster nowadays, based on your, your packaging, you can go anywhere from like American standard to elite to custom shop. Um, you can be looking at anywhere from like fifteen hundred to like two thousand dollars. Um, with a little bit more boutique and kind of handcrafted guitars, you're going to be looking at upwards of, of two. Um, so these people, I mean, it it's similar in guitars as it is uh, with a lot of other different industries. It's diminishing returns. No matter how much you pay, you're never going to acquire the same level of utility as you would have acquired first. Um, so let's say this, you're buying, you're buying your first acoustic guitar. So the amount of utility that you get from that acoustic guitar, it's not gonna keep building and building and building. Let's say you're not gonna get as much of a benefit from a four or $5,000 guitar than you are gonna get from a $400 guitar. This isn't, a, a $5,000 guitar isn't 10 times better than a $500 guitar. It's just gonna be, more playable sounds better very uh subjective term but these are just some of the things that i that make a guitar a guitar and i could talk about this for hours so i hope you enjoyed my presentation and have a great night